Thank you, thank you, thank you so much indeed. So this is carrying about 300 metric tons that will be able to cover 15 counties in Kenya and will be able to impact about 200,000 uh, smallholder farmers and ultimately talking about about half a million individuals through provision of food. So this morning, uh, we are talking about what we intend to do to support especially small farm holder under this uh, COVID-19 situation and what we call um, better farm and better lives. We believe that if the farmers, exactly as John said, are able to perform better farming, it will basically improve their situation they will improve, they will get enough food to feed their own family uh, and relatives, but as well, we expect them to get even additional revenue uh, to improve their life. And that's why we call it uh, better, better farms and better life. In our pillar number one, which focuses on the smallholder farmers, we have really uh, prioritized and emphasized the need for quality inputs. Our farmers sometimes plant anything. So long as there is rain, they just plant anything. And then in the end, they get anything. So in the end, this kind of farming has entrenched poverty. It's like that when you see the farmer, it's like the poorest of the poor. And yet the opportunity for wealth is there. And in order to promote the idea of quality inputs, we changed our fertilizer subsidy program so that it is an input support program. And we change it from us buying and giving them into us working with the private sector uh, to create a platform where the farmers that we have registered get 40% from the government and 60% from themselves, but they choose their own inputs themselves based on agronomic and extension advice. Professor Boga, can you please put more money in building silos so that if the farmers grow the crop, they do not struggle how to store it, and they do not lose their value because of storage. We believe agriculture is the best solution for the young people to look for a job but look for a job with the knowledge to improve your productivity. Because we are talking about your stomach. And not only your stomach, but we are talking about your pocket. As part of the reforms that we have done in the ministries, also the warehouse receipting system, what Dr. Kirubi was talking about, silos. We don't want this to be a government business. We want this to be a private sector business. And that is why we are reforming the NCPB so that it has a trading division that is operating on private sector terms and leasing most of the warehouses to the private sector so that they can provide that service to the farmers under the warehouse receipting system. So we would like the solutions to come from the private sector and for the government to provide the enabling environment. And I think this will be better for the farmer and also better for the government and better for the economy.